Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to um, edit or select our room settings. Okay, so in the previous lesson we learned about the luminaires or luminaire catalogs and how can we add them in Dialexif. Okay, so the next step is that we would like to um, select our rooms and uh, specify the uh, locks for each room. Okay, as we did in the manual calculation. Okay, now as you can see in the light tab, you can go to rooms or spaces. You will find all of the spaces which you have created inside the Dialex Eve as we did before in the very beginning lesson. Okay, so as you can see, we have entrance, office, corridor, office, store, WC, kitchen, meeting room, two uh, auxiliary transformers rooms. Uh, or transformer rooms, office, stairs, and so on. Okay, so what are we going to do? Simply, we are going to select any room. Let's say, for example, entrance, like this. Okay, so if we go here to spaces, you will find here entrance. Okay, this is the name of the room itself, which is an entrance. Okay, second thing, you will find the height of the space. What is the height of this room? We said that the height is three meters okay now the next step is click on edit okay why to in order to select the type of room so that the directs will give you a default value for the lux okay without going to the code so we click on edit you will find here the template selection so as you can see you will find here all of the types of the room as you can see here uh, general areas inside the building rest areas office uh, health care as you can see all types of rooms uh, industry um, if you go down here you will find uh, places of public uh, assembly and so on so as an example we can uh, choose for example general areas as you can see you will find here the entrance uh, halls okay or the entrance room okay and you will find here ticket office uh, waiting room uh, and so on so we'll choose the entrance like this you will find that when i select the entrance inside dialex evo if you go down here you will find here the visual task this is the average value of the locks produced inside the entrance okay which is depending on the code which is a hundred locks okay and as you remember we discussed it before also the uniformity Uniformity here, since it is not important um, the lighting itself inside the entrance or to see everything um, uh, with its own real um, light or uh, provide a good lighting to entrance. So as you, as you can see, the default value for the uniformity is 0.4. We said before when we discussed this value, we said it should be between 0.5 and uh, 1. Okay. However, since entrance, as you can see, always in entrance, you will find a very bright uh, area, which is the entrance itself, and very uh, dark areas after it. Okay, so it doesn't matter, you just put the default values, which is 100 lux, okay, and 0.4, depending on the program itself. Okay, okay, you'll find also additional uh, settings here if you would like to. Uh, do it but it is not really important the most important thing for us as an electrical engineer is the amount of flux in the uh, room itself or the entrance or any room and the uniformity okay okay so as you can see now it is a space type general areas and the application is entrance room okay now second thing is the work plan work plan do we have any work plan in this uh, room no we don't have any work plan in office we have a work plan however there is no work plan so the height of the work plan is equal to zero right so we will neglect create work plan we will remove this like this okay so now we don't have a work plan inside the entrance uh, room now go to the maintenance here you will find the maintenance factor you can see it is a default value of 0.8 as we said before inside the indoor we select it as 0.8 now if you go to the detailed values you will find here you can add 
the number of years at which you would like our luminaire to have and the conditions is it clear or uh, clean or very clean or uh, normal or dirty and so on so as you can see very clean clean normal and dirty according to this value it will uh, produce a certain maintenance factor however we will usually put it as a fixed value of 0.8 for simplicity okay so this is the first room which is the entrance now let's go to the office and do the same thing name office the height of the space is three meters now remember something which is uh, important here um, here uh, is the type of the office itself is it a recessed or surface surface mounted uh, we are talking about type of luminaire is it a surface mounted luminaire or a recessed mounted luminaire now remember that we said inside our office building we will assume there is a recessed mounted uh, building okay or it says the mounted uh, luminaires used why because we said we can have an HVAC system or um, or cables and so on as we uh, cable tray as we said as we discussed before in the section where we talked about the different types of fluorescent lamps and so on okay types of diffusers and so on now anyway we have an office so this office we have a recessed mounted surface or a recessed surface or a false ceiling so we will have for example let's say for example uh, 30 centimeter representing the recessed um, uh, space okay so as you can see here as you can see this is a 3d uh, view of this room okay so this is the ceiling itself okay the concrete ceiling now let's say we have here another ceiling in order to um, this ceiling because we have a recessed ceiling okay like this so we will put the height of the space for example we have a 30 centimeter so we would like to install the luminaires here so we'll say 2.7 okay like this okay so as you can see this uh, height representing our room or the recessed room okay okay now the next step so we have on height of the room itself is 2.7 now okay the luminaire is mounted at 2.7 meter height because the additional 30 centimeter is uh, used for adding cables hvac and so on okay okay now let's click on edit and select uh, the uh, template okay so we have here an office right so as you can see we have here offices or office then we can select our archives or CAD or uh, copying or reception desk and so on any type so let's say usually when we are talking an office we saying writing typing typewriting reading data processing and so on so as you can see we have the same value of the code which is 500 lux and as you can see the uniformity which is important in an office we select it as 0.6 okay by default of course okay and you can see other factors down below now let's go here you can find here office and application writing typewriting and so on now let's go to a uh, work plan we have a work plan inside an office yes what is its height as you can see default 0.8 okay this is our work plan now maintenance factor also 0.8 by default now we are going to do all of this for the other rooms so let's say for example the wc uh, and the height of the uh, since we have a recessed uh, floor 2.7 uh, recessed uh, not floor recessed ceiling so we click on edit then select the template and we have an office or we have a wc so as you can see here this room which is called uh, this type of template which is called the rest you will find here inside the rest you will find here um bathrooms okay bathrooms toilets and so on okay so as you can see here uh what is the type of the room okay um restrooms okay you can see the restroom is a hundred lux which is the same value which is required okay 
okay you can see also here pass rooms and rooms you can put the default values of 200 lux usually we use 100 lux okay usually we use 100 lux okay for the pass room itself okay okay now we will have a store edit and go to the store the store is defined in here store rooms and cold stores you can find here a store and stock rooms okay so as you can see the normal lux is 100 lux and uniformity is low 0.4 okay um well, let's see the meeting room okay which is also an office office um uh, conference and the meeting room 500 lux uniformity 0.6 okay um stairs for example okay uh, of course all of this will be 2.7 2.7 as a height okay and the work plan we have a work plan and same maintenance factor okay here an office also same value here play uh -huh, office and writing typing and so on okay we have a work plan we have the maintenance factor we have the corridor we didn't select it yet we have also 2.7 and then we have here the corridor you can find it below inside the traffic zones inside buildings okay uh -huh. you will find here a circulation area and the corridors okay and you can find here lefts and stairs okay like this we have, don't have a work plan since it is a corridor by default as you can see zero meter okay it it says create a working plan with zero meter so it as if it is does not exist okay uh, maintenance factor 0.8 go to the stairs for example here we will have also um 2.7 uh, three meters okay we don't have a uh, cables or anything inside stairs so stairs you will find it also in the traffic zones then you will find here um, stairs okay we don't have a work plan also zero and the maintenance factor okay this office we uh, say past then here so all you are going to do is just going to each room and select the settings for this room work plan point eight maintenance uh -huh. Ma room uh, transformer transformer can beam also 2.7 okay and edit transformer can be found in uh, control rooms we can say it is a switch gear room since it is uh, having a transformer with uh, circuit breakers uh, fuses and so on so it will be switch gear room 2.7 here we have a working plant in order to eliminate our electrical component here um, paste control room switch gears okay same working plan maintenance factor um, we uh, okay this office point eight store uh, the store itself is also 2.7 okay 2.7 okay and it has a working plan too okay um stairs we have selected the stairs we have selected the corridor we have selected the stairs so we almost did everything inside our plan now the last thing is kitchen okay so kitchen you can go to um here working plan 2.7 2 then you can go here to the kitchen 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 where can we found kitchens um i think we can select it as inside restaurants and hotels okay you can see here kitchens as you can see here and their own lux okay so we selected all of the values for the lux for our plan now the next step is adding the luminaires and starting the design for these rooms okay